Cyberpunk Reader. The Biden administration is taking steps to prevent Facebook from acquiring the virtual reality company within. This move comes amid growing concerns about the power and influence of large tech companies and the potential for the further consolidation of power in the hands of a few companies. Within, formerly known as VRSE, is a leading virtual reality content provider. The company produces immersive experiences for a range of platforms, including virtual and augmented reality, as well as traditional media, including an app called Supernatural. Supernatural is a fitness service that is only available on Meta's Quest virtual reality devices. The service this boasts expert coaches, beautiful destinations, and workouts choreographed to the best music. It is marketed as a complete fitness service for users of virtual reality devices. Facebook has reportedly been in talks to acquire the company for several months, but the Biden administration is now seeking to block the deal. One of the main reasons for the administration's opposition to the acquisition is the potential for further concentration of power in the hands of a few tech companies. Facebook already has a significant presence in the virtual reality space with its Oculus VR platform. The acquisition of Within would give Facebook even more control over the virtual reality market, potentially limiting competition and innovation. In addition, there are concerns about Facebook's track record when it comes to protecting user data and privacy. The company has been criticized for its handling of user information, and there are fears that the acquisition of Within could give Facebook access to even more sensitive data. This could potentially put user privacy at risk and give Facebook even more power over its users. The Biden administration is not the only party opposed to the acquisition. Several advocacy groups, including the Institute for Local Self-Reliance and the Open Markets Institute, have called on the Federal Trade Commission to block the deal. These groups argue that the acquisition would harm competition and limit consumer choice, and that it is not in the best interests of consumers. Overall, the Biden administration's efforts to prevent Facebook from acquiring within are motivated by concerns about the concentration of power in the hands of a few tech companies and the potential impact on competition and consumer choice. It remains to be seen whether the administration will be successful in blocking the deal, but the opposition highlights the growing concerns about the power of large tech companies and their impact on society. Another big-time corporation is under fire from the U.S. government. The Federal Trade Commission is taking steps to block Microsoft's proposed acquisition of the video game company Activision. This move comes amid growing concerns about the consolidation of power in the tech industry and the potential impact on competition and consumer choice. Microsoft, one of the world's largest tech companies, has been seeking to acquire Activision, the maker of popular video game franchises such as Call of Duty and World of Warcraft. The proposed deal, which is valued at over $69 billion, would give Microsoft a significant presence in the video game market and could potentially give the company a competitive advantage over its rivals. However, the FTC is now seeking to block the acquisition, arguing that it would harm competition and limit consumer choice. In a statement, the agency said that the deal is likely to result in higher prices and reduce innovation in the video game market. The FTC is also concerned about the potential impact on smaller video game developers who may be unable to compete with a larger, more powerful rival. The Federal Trade Commission will have to overcome impediments if they are to prevent the Microsoft Activision agreement, according to experts. Courts have been mistrustful of efforts to obstruct vertical mergers, which occur when two separate enterprises that don't compete against each other come together. Microsoft has voluntarily taken a number of steps in order to help alleviate any apprehension from regulators over the union between the two companies. This has included agreeing to maintain Call of Duty's availability on Sony's PlayStation and Nintendo's consoles, and not solely on Xbox. This may prove influential to some adjudicators. The opposition to the deal is not limited to the FTC. Several advocacy groups, including the Institute for Local Self-Reliance and the Open Markets Institute, have also called on the agency to block the acquisition. These groups argue that the deal would give Microsoft too much control over the video game market and that it is not in the best interests of consumers. Microsoft, for its part, has defended the proposed acquisition, arguing that it would allow the company to offer more innovative and immersive gaming experiences to its customers. The company has also pointed out that the video game market is already highly competitive, with a large number of players and strong competition from other tech giants such as Sony and Nintendo. The case is set to go to trial in February, and it remains to be seen whether the FTC will be successful in blocking the acquisition. 
However, the agency's opposition to the deal highlights the growing concerns about the consolidation of power in the tech industry and the potential impact on competition and consumer choice. With these attempted mergers, we are witnessing blatant attempts by corporations to further consolidate content into vertical arrangements, with these proto-mega brands turning into ever-expanding umbrellas for interrelated media systems that intervene with every aspect of human life. Thank you for watching the Cyberpunk Reader. Until next time, and if you enjoyed the content, or found it useful or helpful in any way, please like and subscribe and click the bell if you want to notice next time I upload a video.